guys, this is Ryan Lucas with Limitless Van, and today I'm excited to introduce to you Bam Van, our 2023 all-wheel drive sprinter. Follow me, come check this baby out, show you all the cool tips and tricks and features of this build. So first thing about this van is this is our Gifford floor plan layout for the Sprinter. There's different options you can choose based on our website, how many people are going to be traveling in this van or sleeping in this van. This one is one of our more popular floor layouts. So I'll show you the Gifford kitchen for our Sprinter. First thing you'll notice is the dual induction burner, a large isotherm 130 fridge, about the galley. I really like this kitchen sink cover. What's nice about it is you have a larger working surface if you need it. You can pop this off. This acts as a cutting board. On this side, it has a nice groove in it to catch any liquids if you're cutting meat, keep things from spilling over. As you can see, it's a really nice deep sink. This is an undermount sink. We do undermount or drop-in sinks. It's really up to you and your style, your preferences. Our gold fixture, which complements the rest of the van. I really like this sink, really good for van life. You can turn it on and off here, of course, but also there's a little button here which can help turn it on or off as well as you're washing down or even pulling this outside and using this extension to wash down something outside of your vehicle. Up here is our control panel where we always keep our controls to all of the controls in the vehicle and also your monitoring. The vehicle has Victron components and Garmin for controls. Easy controls, easy monitoring. You can access the status of your vehicle. You can turn on and off your inverter from this Victron screen. From the Garmin, which is a magnetic mount, you can remove this. You can use it wherever you are inside your van. You can also just hook it up to other magnetic areas in your vehicle as well. Home base is here, it charges. What's unique about this Garmin is you have a mirror screen on your iPhone. Whereas up there, you have right here as well. So you can control your vehicle via Bluetooth on your phone, whether you're in bed, driving in the driver's seat or passenger seat or outside your vehicle as well. Moving down, you have your Rixens heating screen. We have Rixens controlling all of our hot air and our hot water. The Rixens is a component we've used in all of our vehicles. We love Rixens because of the reliability and their ease of use. And now they've recently updated their screen. So we're able to control the hot air, the hot water, the temperature of the vehicle, of course. If you have heated floors, we can control the heated floors through this screen as well. This also has engine heating in this vehicle and you're able to preheat the engine block as well. So if you're in sub-zero weather and you don't want to start your diesel engine cold, you can actually preheat your Sprinter diesel by turning on this preheat button and the furnace of the Rixens unit will heat up the glycol, which actually heats up your engine block before you start your vehicle. You can start it up safely without worrying about damage. So that's one really cool feature about this as well. Lastly, we have our lighting. So we have front lights and rear lights. This is nice to have because you just have a physical place to come in and dim your lights if you want for nighttime or if you're reading or if somebody's sleeping in the back and you want some light in the front. Unique thing about this van, which we developed, is the ceiling. So it's a nice two-tone ceiling. What we like about this is it incorporates all the different elements of the van. This nice Nassimi fabric mixed in with the bamboo that's throughout the van, and it incorporates the gold as well. Also, what I like that's unique about this van that we'll be bringing into more of our, our builds are the small details. So this Max Air fan, we always have a shade for it to block out light, so we have a totally blacked out interior, but just a really nice, simple way to be able to block that light out is with that magnetic gold trim ring incorporated into it. It's a nice feature of this vehicle. And for this van, we did something special. We put a wet bar in it. So you have different alcohols you can put in here, your shaker. We also incorporated a wine glass holder, which has magnetic magnets inside of it, and it'll be able to slide in here and magnetically click lock in place so it's not going to go anywhere when you're driving. Also what's cool about these glasses being magnetic is you can set this on your table and this isn't going to go anywhere. So a couple of areas you can use these safely without having to worry about spills or breaking. Next thing in this galley this is a large galley in the 170 Sprinter so we have lots of storage. We have tall pantry storage here we have a microwave at a lower level, easy to access. We have 
a lot more drawers for storage, uh, flip down drawers, pull out drawers, all soft clothes with our gold fixtures. We have our night light lighting at our kick. And then we come all the way up to the front. Here is our two burner induction cooktop. What's really nice about this is it's perfectly recessed. Um, I like to have these recessed into the countertop. It's a really nice surface. It's glass, so it's not gonna scratch nearly as easy as a wood or a Corian or whatever countertop you use. So I actually like these in the countertop because it provides a really nice surface to set things on where it's not gonna damage or scratch up. Moving down, we have a nice isotherm 130 refrigerator. This has 4.6 liters of space, so it's quite large. There's also a little freezer in here. So when you're camping, you can show off and pull out your ice cream and make all your friends jealous. It's one of my favorite refrigerators for the size and just how functional it is with beer storage, drink storage, bacon, in whatever it is you name it you can pack it in such a way that this isn't going to vibrate as you're going down the road and just drive you crazy as you're going through washboards so i love this fridge for those reasons moving forward we have a really nice and big flip up countertop what's unique about this is as it locks up you can also pull out a your cutting boards so another thing that's really nice so you don't have to damage your nice countertops is you'll have built-in cutting board storage right there in that little slot slide it in and it tucks away fold this down and you're ready to go and these are nice flip up hardware it's not going to vibrate as you're going down the road either so it's nice and quiet next we have our dinette. This dinette seats two people very comfortably with our lagoon table. So you can work here, eat your breakfast. You can sit in that seat, rotate it, and look out the door with our AMA windows. It's a very comfortable place to sit. We have outlets and a lot more storage in here as well. Also with new sconce lighting, which I don't think has been in a van before, but we we're excited to showcase this. Up front, we have our Limitless Van two-tier headliner shelf that's backlit. This is a really nice platform to store things such as your window shades, those large kind of bulky items that otherwise would be hard to store, your road maps. Also, we have our nice Shieldman seats. We have matching fabric from the Shieldman seats. We've brought that to the back of this vehicle as well so it flows and transitions nicely with matching stitching as well. These seats are really nice. People often ask me, if it's worth the money to upgrade to these seats. I think it is, I really do. If you've ever spent more than two or three hours in Mercedes seats or Ford Transit seats for that matter, it's really uncomfortable. You can't drive as long. If you're gonna be doing road trips longer than two or three hours, these Shieldman seats just, you don't even notice the pain. The pain is, is gone. I didn't buy it at first until I got a pair myself and got to experience a 14 hour road trip with my butt in these seats and it makes a huge difference. What's nice about this is a Shieldman is nearby in Portland, near to us, and they can custom fit a seat to you and your, your body as well. So really recommend these seats. Not only do they look great, they function wonderfully as well. These ones have the dual armrest, which is really nice when you are driving, you can put these armrests down. They're more comfortable. And also when it's in lounge mode and you're hanging out, it's just really nice to have those armrests as well. So quality seats for this build for any van, I, I highly recommend them. Kind of moving on back into the van, of course, we have our overhead cabinets. These have nice angles on them, so if you're gonna stand up real fast and hit your head, believe it or not, that little 45 degree angle really helps. All of our lights are underlit, and also, when you open them, there's momentary switching in here, so when you open the cabinet, lights automatically turn on. You close it, lights turn off. One feature I've really been looking forward to incorporate into our van builds is a wet bath. What Limitless Van did with this build was bring our favorite toilet, the Lavio Dry Flush, and hide it. And when it needs to be used, you can pull this out in a completely waterproof, watertight compartment. Use your bathroom, do your business, and when you're all said and done, tuck this away, tighten that up. Also, in our showers that we make here in-house, we incorporate a shampoo and soap holder. Um, and then van-made gear, which does all of our custom window shades, also makes our really cool waterproof shower door. This zips up 
completely waterproof, nice and tight, so it folds away really nicely. Keeps all the steam and condensation out of the rest of the van. And when you're done with your shower, your nice hot shower, you have your max air fan right here and it sucks all that condensation out of the vehicle. Moving further back in the cabin, we have our bedside cabinet. And this just has more storage and a nice area to set your books or your reading glasses, whatever you need when you're relaxing in bed. But what's really nice about this is we've incorporated a step down low. So when you're getting in and out of your bed late at night, or if you have kids, this is a really nice feature to step on and have to easily be able to get onto your bed. So I'd say most of our builds now have air conditioning. It really adds to the usability of these vehicles, true four season vehicles. The Nomadic AC is a high efficiency air conditioner. It is a lot more efficient than traditional air conditioning units. It's also really low profile on the inside of the van. It doesn't take up any space. And it's really low profile on the roof as well. So you're not gonna be hitting trees with your air conditioner. So we have an interior cabin fan, the Sirocco, which is really nice for circulating your cold air or your hot air inside of the cabin where you don't necessarily need your max air fan running. One of the favorite features of this van is the bed. With this bed, we incorporated a couple of different movements. The newest one is we're able to turn this into a Murphy bed. It locks into place super easy, so you're able to store taller items in here, mountain bike with larger handlebars or without a bump seat, bump post on it. And that just really easily releases and you're back to sleeping mode by flipping these pads back in place. Also, we still have retained the functionality of flipping these panels up. So if you want to lay back and relax and look out the van, you can do that. Also, that panel back there flips up and it faces towards the front of the van as well. So, ton of usability with this bed system. You can also move these panels out of the way. You have storage and access to your electrical cabinet from up top. And on this side as well, you have storage and access to your water cabinet. So it's important that everything is easily accessible for service and for additional storage. This is our partition door. It has really heavy duty hinges. So this isn't gonna be breaking on you, going through washboards and off-road situations. We like the partition because it kind of separates your garage area and all the dirty stuff you might be keeping back here from your nice livable space. Also, it's kind of nice for uh, heating as well. It's one space less that your heater has to heat up. But yeah, also in this area, we have our pull-out tray. It's a, on heavy-duty glides. It'll pull all the way out. And I'll come around back and I'll show you how that all works. Garage area, there's a lot of lighting in here, so it's light and bright. You're not gonna be shuffling around trying to find all your gadgets. Our big pull-out tray is really nice on real heavy-duty glides. It pulls out five feet. Easy to grab whatever you store here, your bikes, whatever storage that might be heavy. You can access this a lot easier. Locks in and locks out. Nice stud. On this side, we have our water wheel well cabinet. This vehicle holds 32 gallons of fresh water. You have your city and your gravity fill port here. You have your rear wash down shower and it has hot and cold water for the rear wash down shower as well. You can pull that out and you hook it up to our shower holder. On this side is our electrical wheel well cabinet. So this houses 10 kilowatt hours of battery. It's the equivalent of 800 amp hours of 12 volt lithium battery. So it's a very big system. This is actually a 24 volt system, all Victron components, so very high end, very reliable. On this battery cabinet, we also have the ARB air pump, which you can hear, with one of our two ports located in the rear, an outlet for the rear, and the fan that exhausts all the hot air that might be generated from your batteries and your inverter running. This also has a 3000 watt inverter charger from Victron as well. So it's gonna be able to power items like your microwave, your induction, all of your outlets with ease. Over here, this van designed a interior accessory panel. This accessory panel um, can do all sorts of things. In this case, it's arranged to have a nice Sealand Pro bag where you can just store 
random items like your air hose. This accessory panel also has a table that stows away really tight so you're not going to have any rattling. You can also undo this, set it up, and you have a nice tray for your garage area for if you're setting up your mountain bikes, whatever it is. We've got to see the interior of our BAM van, the 2023 all-wheel drive Mercedes, the 170. Now let's go ahead and check out what the exterior has to offer. We'll start off at the front of the vehicle. First of all, we have our CA tuned bumper. We really like the CA tuned bumper because it goes really well with the lines of the Mercedes. It's nice and compact. It's not too much. It, this looks really good. We have Ruby LED lights. These are dimmable light. We love these lights. They use them on Baja motorcycles. They use them on off-road vehicles all the time, um, but you don't see them too much on vans. So we like these lights a lot. They put out a lot of power. Also, there's a 12,000 pound winch from Warren. Then if you look closely under here, there is a skid plate that Limitless Van makes. This is custom powder coated to match the exterior of the van. And it also has access panels to be able to reach your and change your oil easily without getting in the way. Up top, we have our safari rack. Right now, this has six LP6 lights from Baja Designs that puts out a ton of power. They can also fit LP9s as well. And the roof rack is walkable, so you're able to walk on top of there, mount whatever solar panels or accessories you want on that rack. And then coming around on this side, we were actually able to put 35 inch tires. These are the BFG KO2s, of course, um, the 315, 70 R17s. We were able to put 35 inch tires on this um, because we use the Van Compass Stage 6.3 suspension kit. So what that does is it gives an additional two inch lift to the vehicle and we're able to put these big beefy tires on. And I really wanted to see how the vehicle would handle and drive with the new 2023 diesel motor and the new transmission. And honestly, it is night and day difference. The power and the transmission of the new Mercedes V4 diesel make all the difference in the world. Also moving down, we have the Agile off-road wheels. These wheels are gorgeous. They're our favorite wheels out there on the market. They also have the two valve stems from Apex Off-Road for quick deflate and inflate. Moving along the side of the van, Limitless Van developed their first side ladder that mounts to our Safari roof rack. What's unique about this ladder that sets it apart from other ladders on the market is it's very tight and close to the body of the vehicle with very large safe steps for when you're climbing up. So you're not going to be slipping on round steps. You have a large four inch platform for your foot to step on. Also, we have an accessory mount for the ladder. You can mount whatever you want on here really, but this fits perfectly with your Max Trax traction boards. You could put gas tanks on here, whatever you want. One thing we didn't talk about on the inside of the vehicle are these van speed capsules. This gives you an additional almost eight inches of space inside of the van. It allows for about 79 inches in our van of east to west sleeping. This allows you to have a lot more space in the cabin of the van for your kitchen, for your shower, for your dinette. Moving to the rear of this build, we have a rear tire carrier. This is the first rear tire carrier that Limitless Van has built for the Sprinter, and it solves a lot of problems. So. First and foremost, you'll notice this fits a 35 inch spare tire and it still clears our doors so we can open these doors without any issues. It has an accessory mount here as well. So this just shows some options that you can do for this rear tire carrier. You can have your gas tanks, diesel, water, mount your shovel, your axes, your propane, whatever it is you want. And then there's nice, easy steps to access the roof of your vehicle. All right, the first thing on this roof rack, that's pretty cool as you're making your way up, there's actually a pull-up bar right there. We like to incorporate the pull-up bar because if you're traveling on the road, it's a really nice way to get some fitness in. Here is your Nomadic AC, as you see, it's really low profile. It's actually below 
these bars. So if you're gonna hit something, it's gonna hit your roof rack bars first. Also on top, we have Xantrex solar panels. So these are really flat, low panels on top. This has over 300 watts of solar on this build. You can add more based on what you want to store up here on your roof deck. These are walkable solar panels, but as always with walkable solar panels, you want to avoid walking on them as much as possible. It increases the lifespan if you do not walk on them. Also, we have a large Fiamma awning. It's a manual awning on this. On the outside of this kitchen galley, we also have a, cool, a couple of cool features we want to showcase. There is a um, air coupler here for your ARB hose as well, so you can get your front wheels as well. Also, we have a flip down table, which is shown in a few of our vans. And what's neat, unique about this table is you can cook with an isobutane stove on the outside. So if you have something stinky you're cooking, like bacon or fish, something messy you don't want to cook on the inside of your vehicle, you can always have the option of cooking with your isobutane stove on the outside of your vehicle. This is a Snow Peak, a really high-end Japanese brand, and it just offers another option for cooking. Pop that out and replace it right away with our panel here. And this slides up nicely and is perfectly recessed with the rest of the galley. Also, you have a nice exterior outlet, weather rated. If you wanna hook anything up on the outside of your van, keep your door open and use it. That's the end of our tour of Bam Van. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around through all of that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And please, if you like the vehicle, hit like and subscribe. We'd love to hear your feedback as well. Thanks a lot.